What is going on, folks? It is the Moron with the Conscious, aka Conscious Moron. Appreciate the pull up. Um, I guess um, I'm gonna talk about fresh and fit for a minute. But <laughs> like, I never try and really delve into. Uh, I guess it would be relationship or dating matters or attractiveness because it's gonna be different for everybody. What works for me might not work for you, and what works for you might not work for me so it's kind of hard to generalize but I, I know that's the thing on youtube to generalize relationships when you really can't especially when you don't generally date a lot of women that well i don't want to say at the same time but you don't generally date women with the same kind of format or blueprint you know i mean well, i do i try and be honest and upfront, and sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't but that's the that's the that's the name of the game but um that somebody's got to take their spot <laughs> and I don't think it's going to be me. I, I, like I said, I, I, I'm going to try and focus on politics, which is, uh, I think a little bit more stable. Um, though that is crazy in itself too, but it seems like they're all intertwined because I mean, if you notice it, the, the hardcore, like black conservative Democrats who are single, they hate black women. You dig what I'm saying? They hate black women who are mostly Democrat. So it's, it's, I don't want to say it's intertwined, but it, they have some correlations to get. They have some correlations, in my opinion, like I said. But um, I feel bad for the brother. Well, I won't say I feel bad for the brothers, but they should have been better prepared for this to come up. I mean, they knew they were kind of doing risque topics here on YouTube. And how much longer do you think YouTube will put up with that? You know what I'm saying? So you should have been ready. You should have been prepared, you know. Um, if like my grandma used to say, if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. And I don't think they was ready for this. And now they were kind of whining, but you can't whine. Like you adapt, you grow, you know what I'm saying? Like you said, go to your rumble. And if, if you really have, uh, a great fan base, they're going to come with you. And that ain't like y'all can't still be on YouTube, um, talking. You just can't make no money off of YouTube specifically, but you can always do cash at PayPal's Vimo, all that other thing. So I think more than anything, they will do that. Um, but um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of, everybody else is talking about it. So, you know, I might as well have seen that's what I don't like, man. I'm not saying I don't like it, but uh, especially on black YouTube. But, but I'm, I'm about to break out into this politics game because that affects everybody everywhere in America. So I think that would be much more profitable for me. You know what I'm saying? If I'm going to do this, I might as well, you know, try and make some money. And there's not enough, I want to say Democrats, though I am a registered Democrat. I am a registered Democrat. Like I don't want Biden, but I don't want Trump either. I don't want Biden, but I really, really don't want Trump because I know he's a liar. And yes, Biden is all those things, but I think he has a little bit more integrity than Trump. You know what I'm saying? I think if you catch Biden with his pants down, so to speak, he's going to admit to it where Trump will be like, the wind blew him down. You dig what I'm saying? So I think that's the difference with the two. But I, if, in a perfect world, it wouldn't be neither of those men as candidates in my perfect world. It would be somebody who's a little bit younger, definitely who's a younger. Um, but I, I just don't think that those gentlemen – are prepared to lead our country into the future because they too much of a throwback past. You know what I mean? Like, if anything, they should remind you of the founding fathers. Like, we haven't grown in 200 some odd years to where we still picking white men to be the leader of this country. I, I don't really think they understand how tech is coming in and how it's vastly changing the workforce in America or just the world itself. And, like, how are we going to adapt to that? I mean, we too busy at these culture wars and like like it's really a technology war and we last place we ain't really thinking because y'all worried about if obama's gay but not if trump is a sexual assaulter because he was found liable for that right and then he said he grabbed him by the vajayjays but if if somebody comes out and say obama gay then all of the conservatives jump on the bandwagon oh he's gay he's gay but they'll let you know those those great allegations against Trump, which is more than five women, and then that liable suit where he had to pay was found guilty. Well, I'll say guilty, was found liable to pay that lady. You look over that because he's a man's man, right? And Obama, you know, he likes man. So 
that's the difference, right, guys? And just some of the things I'll be hearing from these black conservatives or minority conservatives, you know what I mean? Like, y'all need, y'all are in y'all feelings about this. And it's never been about that. Like, a very prominent conservative used to say facts over feelings, but it seems as though that you guys are in your feelings so much, y'all don't care about the facts. Like, I see pictures, Trump is my God. How is Trump your God? And then they talk about, like, we need to implement Jesus Christ back into the to to our government. It was never in our government. Never. And if you think I'm lying, go and look up the letter that Thomas Jefferson sent to the bishops of Danbury in Connecticut. I want to say it was like in June, I mean, January of 1802, but I could be off. But it's definitely he sent a letter to the bishops of, of uh, Danbury talking about this very thing. He said it was a clear wall between the state and the government so that the that people who were the state, I mean, not the state, uh, but the people could practice any religion. Because you think about it, if we have one religion, everybody in America got to use that, got to have that religion. That sounds like communism to me. That sounds like fascism to me. And I know y'all hate that. So please do your research. Go and look that up, all right? Y'all have a good one. We might go live a little bit later because I might have to do a reaction video to, to something I saw early. But if not, y'all keep the, the, the fight going. Please like, subscribe, and share to my channel because we need some more crazy thinkers. We can't have people who kind of think the same way. Y'all be good. Be safe. Enjoy your afternoon. Peace.